I love your car. What do you uh, what do you do for a living? I'm retired. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. The shuttle mode. Not for use on public roads. Welcome to Drive Season 5. My name is Byron. Right now we're headed up to Bowling Green, Kentucky to the NCM Bash at the National Corvette Museum. There's going to be some E-rays painted in the new colors for 2024. Hopefully we'll see some Z06s, C8, C7. Just a fun-filled day of Corvettes, so we're looking forward to it. Stay tuned and let's go. So we got a C8 Stingray there. So we got an eighth generation Corvette. Then we'll go up a few car lengths. And we got a C7 Stingray. Z51 package on this one. So there's two, and then we go up a few more car lengths. This is all unrelated. These people don't think, know each other at all. They just happen to be on the interstate at the same time. So it's kind of a little rare occurrence. Uh, we got another C7 up in front, but then look at this. I'm pretty positive this is either a C6 or a C5. You guys are going to roast me on the internet, I know, for not knowing what that is. Again, I think it's either a C5 or a C6. Uh, so there you go. At least three generations right there in the United States, so that's kind of cool. Got the Corvette blogger in Red Byron, how are you? Good, good. All right, give me the quick rundown, because you're the man with the plane. Let's start over here with this one. Yeah, let's go. And I'm going to get the behind the scenes, because this guy knows everything. So, uh, what... This is the E-Ray. Corvette E-Ray. What year model? This Four? is the 2024. Okay. This is in the new Seawolf gray okay. metallic. Uh, you can see it's a, generally a battleship color, but it shows really nice. In fact, if you get up on it, you can see a little bit of flake in it. Not too yeah, much. Yeah, I think I like this color. Like that Nardo gray right. on exactly. chalk gray on the BMW. And that's beautiful. So this is what, what spec is it on the... Yeah, uh, so you get to choose like either a carbon fiber, uh, carbon flash, or you can get the body color chin. Okay, cool. I think, uh, I think that looks really good. Yeah. So in the front here, you have a 160 horsepower uh, electric motor. Okay. It's your electric drive motor. In the center tunnel is a 1.9 kilowatt hour uh, lithium ion batteries. Oh, wow. What is that? That's a Cunningham uh, show car. Oh, there you go. Wow. Okay, all right. 60th anniversary. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So okay. So you're saying that in this in there, the tunnel, there's here, battery. The battery yeah. packs down there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then back here, you've got your LT2 V8, 495 horsepower. So you combine the 495 plus the 160, and then you're up in like the 655. 655. So this right. is comparable with the Z. Yeah. To a certain extent. And in fact, it's uh, one tenth of a second faster, zero to 60. Wow. 2.5 seconds versus 2.6 seconds. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. And, and 10.5 in the quarter versus 10.6 in the quarter. Wow. So faster. Right. Uh, probably the similar weight, maybe, maybe a little heavier. Yeah, about bad battery. Two, two and a half pound, two, 250 pounds, okay. 300 pounds heavier with the battery in the drive motor. Now, what's interesting is that the systems are uncoupled. So you have your regular uh, V8 engine back here, you've got your electric drive motor back here, but they're only talking to each other through software. Okay. So you've got your all-wheel drive. That's what wow. essentially it yeah. brings you is the E all-wheel drive. And uh, it's really cool because you also have some ability to put it into an electric only mode. Wow. So you've got what's called stealth mode. So when you start up, you can start off in stealth mode. It's like silent because yeah. it's just battery. And they call that like a neighborhood exit. Yeah. So that, that'll give you. That's, that's what I need on my Z. Well, I have stealth mode, but I can't turn it over as easily as I want. Yeah, right. yeah. So that'll give you like three or four miles or so. I mean, yeah. you can't go far on it. And what happens is you got to be real gentle on the accelerator because if you punch it or if you exceed like 45 miles an yeah. hour, it does this sequence where it starts up the V8 in and the then back. just like roars and then, to life. And then it's the V8, right? Yeah. So it's, a, I mean, it's a really cool machine in terms of how they did it. Of course, some of the standard features are it comes with the body color. Thing. Yeah, I think I love that actually. Yeah. I kind of like that. Kind of blend in, yeah, versus the, like the, the on the Z where black. it's blacked out. Now that one, that E Ray has it. Yeah, because it's an option. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think and that's so cool. That's you cool. You can option. Uh, the carbon flash, or if you have a Z06, you can option the body color. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Right. I have a little E Ray badge. That's kind of cool how like yeah. the, the bottom go, part of the E goes all the way. You can go black or chrome on those. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. These wheels are like kind of sick. They're concave almost. Like, yeah. well, like, I mean, it, it really fits good. Right. So, this, is this like the same dimensions in the, same in the rear same, as the Z? Same body. Just got that different part in the front, yeah. different part in the rear. Yeah. Let's take a look at the rear real fast. So, it's, now, well, now this is, this is different. Well, this is like the Z06, but it has doesn't have the quad center. 
Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, the, the, it's because it's got the basically the LT2 exhaust right. systems. Got it. On the corners. But as far as like the width in the rear, it's the same. Same as a C8 or same as a Z? Same as the Z06. Wow, okay. It's the same exact body. The only difference is the body color versus the carbon flash. Sure, sure. Wow. Um, there, there's uh, the four different style wheels. Okay. You've what got, this is the, um, like the nickel, I think, or the pearl nickel. Okay. You have a polished wheel that's very bright. That's over on this new Riptide Blue that's okay. over there. Yep, we'll take a look at that here in a second. You've got a uh, carbon flash wheel with a machine lip around it. Yep. And then the fourth wheel is a full gloss black. Okay. And then what you can also do is option the Zer package, Z-E-R. Yep. And what that does is it gives you, these are all season tires, come okay, standard cool. on yep. it. All seasons, um, but if you choose the Zer package, it unlocks, and you can go carbon fiber wheels wow. from the Z. Yeah, and then you can get the summer only tires. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, and then you also get like um, the increased wickers here, the, the ones that bump up a little bit oh, more. Oh, on the side, like, kind of like the yeah. Uh, the ones on the Z06. Stage, like, stage two on the Z06. Exactly. Inside, we're all looking the same on everything else, basically. Yeah, it's all the same. You got a little bit of uh, some badging down on the steering wheel back here on the uh, waterfall. This is a 3LZ, so you can, you can option the carbon fiber uh, level two package, which gives you all that beautiful carbon fiber. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's, let's, uh, let's move from this one. Let's change gears to some of the other different colors we got. Yeah. Leah, you holding up over there? That's my girlfriend. <laughs> um, all right, so what are we rocking with? Is this, this is that's the, a, okay. This is a new color. Oh, I kind of like, this is kind of like army green or something. Cacti. Cacti. With an Artemis green interior. Wow, 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 okay. This this Artemis green interior almost looks like, eh, maybe I'm, nah, maybe not. That's pretty crazy though. Yeah, and it's a, you can only get it in the 3LZ. Can so I open this the, up, you think? I uh, just can't sit in it, but yeah, okay. if you can probably open it. Okay, interesting. I think I like this. I think that's beautiful, look at that. It's really nice, yeah. The 3LZ gives you this new stitching pattern. I like that a lot. Before it was just only on the top of the roof, but now sure. you get this too. I like that suede, is this uh, uh, kind of like a, Micro suede through here, yes, uh -huh. carbon. So what package is this with like the, this? Is you said the this three? Is a three LZ okay. with the level two carbon fiber, which not only gives you the, the center console, but then it does the doors and the. Right. So. Yeah, so I like that E-Ray badging seen that right there. Once this focus in, let's see. There we go. Very cool, okay. okay and so then, these are the uh, carbon flash wheels with the machine lip. Okay. And, uh, Brembo carbon ceramic brakes are standard on the car. Wow. And because it's so fast. Yeah. Um, and also it's a weight reducing uh, option to bring down the weight a little bit because of the battery to kind of Excellent. counteract that. Now this is the black badge. I think I like that. Actually, I think I like that a lot it better. Does show up good. That ties in nice with this. And that's what is that carbon flash? That's carbon flash. Yeah, carbon flash same okay. As, uh, you can same as the wheels. Excellent, which is basically just carbon fiber, but it's in a different format than right. like your typical. This is a new badge just okay. for the E-Ray. It's kind of like a Stingray, but we, we say it's got angry eyes. <laughs> oh, because they're a little bit fatter well, or wider. Well, the Stingray is filled in. Ah. And so that's got those openings there. Interesting, okay. Now, let's see. Now this is, is this the same as the this other one? Is, but this, this would be like the level three okay. Z06, which is the base, the base uh, aero package okay. on the Z. Um, one thing they did come out with, uh, I can't show you here, but when you lift up the convertible top, they clear? now have a window. It's, yeah. it's a cutout, so it's, okay. not, it's not fully clear, but there's a window inside there where you can see the engine cover. I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can get them to unlock it for us. Now this is... Uh, Riptide Blue. Okay, Riptide Blue. So this is that's a new color, this is a new color, and that's a new color. So three new colors. For 2024. Yes. And they just happen to be showcasing them on the... The new E-Ray, so yeah. kind of a awesome. But now you can get these colors on any of the any of the cars. Okay, yep. excellent. I think this is this is beautiful. We like it. This is really really beautiful. You see a lot of the flake uh -huh. in here. It kind of reminds me of like a, I guess maybe a C, like a C7 uh, blue. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. We're trying to think of kind of what blue it is because it's um it's not like a jet stream and it's it's because it's got a little bit darker than that. Right. But it's also closer to little towards Nassau blue. Yeah. But yet it's differentiated differently by it's, it's not um, rapid blue at all. Yeah, you know, no, no. You wouldn't get confused between the two. Now these wheels are different than polished. those. These are polished. Okay, so we've seen all three wheels. Oh, three, three out of the. We've seen three out of the four. I don't know. So far, I like those wheels on that color spec. Yeah. Then that'd be a good look. Um, Okay, so let's do another look around and we'll look at that hollowed out one. Uh, yeah. You can explain what we're looking at, but 
Uh, anything special on this one? It's got the chrome version of the uh, angry, yeah. uh, <laughs> angry stingray there. Yeah. And uh, I'm assuming that what well, this is a regular. Are there any other any other Easter eggs? I know they got like the little flags there and the Zora. Zora. Just, you know, you'll see stuff like when you do the startup sequence and you yeah. have the window. Um, they show graphics that are specific to the E Ray there. Okay. Um, the, you actually see like the spinning motor and then the battery pack and okay. then it goes into the profile of the car. Sure. So it's it's really cool the way yeah. they've done that. Absolutely, you got the chrome on there. Figured if you're going with the chrome wheels, you're probably going to go with the chrome on the uh, badging. So speaking of that internals, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay. And we can see, so like you said, same same back here, all is gonna be the same on the C8, right? Yeah, uh, LT2. Some fat tires though, man. These are- All season Michelins. Wow. All seasons. These are fat, dude. I need these on my on my Z. And, and when they ran the 2.5 seconds yeah. 60, it was on, on these tires, yeah. Amazing. Uh -huh. All right, so this is where the, the real differentiating factor is gonna be right here. Here's the, uh, the front drive motor. Okay. You can see it's connected. All right. It's there. Excellent. Um, there's uh, some different cooling. Uh, there's like three different cooling loops. So you'll okay. see over here, different than the Z06, there's a, generally a radiator that runs vertical right there. Right. And now we've got that cooling right. duct kind of through there. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, so there's cooling here. There's cooling in the back because they got the uh, transmission. So when you put it in self mode, that needs to be a little bit cool. And then the sure. battery's cooled as well. Okay. Um, Right there. That's all the all that stuff down through here. Yep. There's the battery pack. Okay, excellent. Very, very cool. Let me get some nice little. So that's a 1.9 kilowatt battery pack. There's 80 cells divided up into four different segments. Okay. And uh, it's loaded in the bottom. So when you're at the assembly plant, yep. Um, they have this uh, table, and so it's on there, and it just lifts right up into the yeah, car. Yeah. No kidding. Just like the way they do the engine. That's sweet. So I was actually at the plant. I was up here doing an event where I had to drive the Z06, and I was in the plant, and they. Uh, they weren't building Z -ray, the E-Rays when I was there, right. but it was a couple days prior they had. So yeah. I would have seen that. I saw them building the Z06. But this is really cool to get the kind of behind the scenes. And I'm guessing, aside from this front motor and aside from that terminal, this is basically what the C8 would look like on underneath. Yeah, now the amazing thing about this car is that um, it was planned from the very beginning. So conceived like in 2013 or wow. so. And in fact, they were driving a mule, an E-Ray mule in 2018. Wow. So before the ZR1 not, came not, out. None the wiser. Right, just driving it. That's a, wild. A no, that's amazing. So this is very, very cool. So those are the three colors. Any other, uh, is that a Z06 over here or a 70th edition Z06? Yeah, those are Z06. Let okay. me show you this one other thing here. Oh, why, why he's got the hood popped? Do we want to look under it? Oh, thank you. So, so we can't really, oh, that's, is that? that that's, that's just a car show thing so okay. they can keep the batteries charged. Okay, but but you'll see some stickers that show the lithium. It actually has a lithium battery as opposed to a, a, a regular, what do they call them, the dry cells? Right, right, okay. Uh, and that's because this car has auto stop start okay. on it. It's the only C8 that has auto stop start. Interesting. Yep. And then um, I want to show you one more thing here. Is Soft close, nice. It, yeah, soft close is when you have an EV or hybrid and you're in silent mode, yep. you have to have a pedestrian warning. Ah. So there's a little speaker right under here. <laughs> yeah, it's like that this plays this weird noise. It actually is the same as the lyric in the Hummer. Oh, it's like a, kind of like the home. Yeah, you know what it sounds like. Yeah, home. yeah. I've driven, I've driven both of those cars. Oh. I think they're about to do a uh, startup. Maybe get a little video. Oh. Look over here, but it, so it plays that, so it's not fully silent. All right, we'll be trying to do. And they tried to start it up and shuffle. Yeah. I think the battery might have been low. Uh, the, the silver tips, you can do the black tips. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of the content's gonna be similar to Z06 Stingray. Right. Um, except for like the electric drive motor and sure. uh, the emblems and things like that. Cool. So let's take a look at this. this is a Z here? Yeah, the, and these are just the 70th anniversary. I say just. Just, yeah. These come are on. only the 70th anniversary. Come on, come on. Dudes, but, um, no. You know, they are on track to sell around 5,000. 70th anniversaries total, C06 and Stingrays for 2023. So wow, uh, they're doing real good. And in fact, the white cars are selling like 70, 30. Really? Yeah. More white than black. The, with the 70th anniversary. Interesting. Yeah. This is beautiful. So this is basically now it's got the high wing. Yeah. Uh, not painted it. Now paint it. This is carbon flash. It's carbon flash. Can you get the high wing and anything other than uh, carbon flash and visible carbon? Visible fiber. carbon fiber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's wild. And then this does this have the carbon fiber? No. Okay. No. 70. Okay. I don't know, I'm so, I'm so out of the game, so I'm glad I got Keith here to like, you know, keep me, uh, keep me right on everything and uh, we perfect timing, so we'll get to see that. I mean, that just looks incredible. Yeah. That does not look like a stock, that looks like something that someone would modify. 
you know, like, I mean, it looks like custom with those wheels and like how it looks a little bit lower. Well, and, and the paint color again is a little bit different than what GM's given us in the past, yeah. you know? So, you know, it's nice to see that they are branching out somewhere. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, hey, appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate Keith from CorvetteBlogger.com. This guy's awesome. I was telling Leah, my girlfriend over there, she's filming that car, that Keith has been instrumental in helping Drive System Vibe grow. He posted from my very first video, which is kind of crazy to come full circle. Uh, what, like five, yeah. five, four or five years ago? That I, three years ago. Three years ago, when I spotted the first C8, and now we've come a long way between you know all the different variations, and now we're here with the E-Ray 70 edition Z06. Excited for what's to come, and thanks again, Keith. Any uh, any final words for the uh, viewers? I just put you on a 15-minute yeah. little little show here for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Well, the 2024s are going to start production on September 5th. Okay. Um, we're going to get all the ordering and pricing and the visualizers are going to come sometime in July or so. Okay. And uh, Corvette Blogger will have all that information as soon as it comes out. Awesome. So stay tuned. He's your uh, he's your man for Corvette content and uh, happy you guys join me and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get some more footage of it loading up. All right. So there it is. The new color moving. Light. I think I really like this one. Like I said, it's kind of like that Nardo gray you see, or chalk gray you see on like the BMW or the R8. I'm guessing he's gonna be backing it in. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Now see you get some different angles of the car at least moving it's one thing when they're sitting you know underneath the, the light but seeing them move right now just looks like definitely like this looks like a supercar something like a mclaren or uh some kind of lamborghini some ferrari vein it definitely looks very supercar esque So check that out, that's kind of the unique little thing. That's a, the terminal there underneath the little bit right there. And then it kind of goes into uh, basically just a side shot of the car. Very, very, very cool. That's kind of custom little graphic. That's probably someone's like one big mission is like make a cool graphic that, uh, that reiterates the new E-Ray or differentiates it from the C8. Basically from this half back, it's just regularly like a C8, no different when it's not in like the shuttle or silent mode. So we'll just get some video of it moving. This is the uh, new blue. Bit overcast on the sky here so you can see. He's got that towel down there so he doesn't scratch anything up. All right, so that's how you get to uh, the shuttle mode. You can see there. So you put your foot on the brake and then turn it over in shuttle modes where it says use only the electric motor for low speed maneuvers, not for use on public roads, comfort and convenience features limited. Cool. It defaulted back into the normal mode. The new color. And the flesh. You guys think i think it looks really cool i really like it
just to let you guys take in the uh, beauty of it. Not buggy too much for talking. So out of the first three that you guys have seen, what are your uh, what are your preferences? One, two, or three? The blue, the gray, or this one? All right, there you go, guys. All right, so the cars are all loaded up. One thing I did learn, uh, the E-Ray, 350 pounds more over the base LT2 C8. Also, if you press the charge plus button, that'll kind of give you access to like the regen braking that some of these electric vehicles have where it puts more power back in to the battery. There you go.